hello you guys welcome to another chapter i know it's been like 13 days since i really uploaded a vlog but there's just been a lot going on you know we've been processing uncle vince's passing still and with the funeral arrangements and everything being finalized and just you know with the kids mommy in just day-to-day -day life things have just been all over the place so we've kind of been just prioritizing and just choosing us right now and just going with the flow um each day at a time and see where things have been we've been on the road a lot we finally did rv in rv in life like living in the rv cooking in the rv going places in the rv and it's been absolutely amazing with a little bit of a twist which you guys will learn about um you know when it's time to share all that stuff um yeah we boondocked for the first time which is basically where we didn't go to a campsite we were just like either at a park like one of those you know just regular park recreational park or um like um on the roadside or just in a parking lot or something like that so that's really fun we've cooked in the rv we've just been um it's just been a lot of greatness so it's, we've been having a lot of fun the kids absolutely love it like i said with a little bit of a twist um yeah so when it's time we'll share all that stuff but right now we've just been focusing on just finalizing everything getting everything together because uncle vince's funeral is in the next three days his viewing is in the next two days so yeah we've basically just been anxiously awaiting the kids they definitely wanted to go because i was on the edge about taking them actually i was on the edge about if i even wanted to go because i didn't know if i wanted to see uncle vince like that again you know just to know that he's really not here anymore and just to see him in what is going to be like his final rest in state you know that's just a lot mentally to process and i wasn't sure if i wanted to go but a friend was like you know what you should go it's closure and you'll end up regretting it and if the kids want to go let them go so i asked the kids and they all wanted to go i think it's more for the little ones it's more curiosity because i don't really think they really um comprehend that uncle vince is truly gone Cause like i said you know simone in nairobi they're young remy's not going to remember him for sure and max and kate they were asleep when all of this stuff was taking place so they didn't actually see him like passed away they didn't get to see him only myself craig kiara the toddlers and the baby got to see him like that but the babies don't understand um yeah everybody else we've been dealing with it okay kiara is feeling a lot more better you know the last for the first week that was the hardest for um her and myself craig looked like it, it didn't affect him too much i think he was more sad for us um yeah and that's just basically what's been going on there in that sense so we've just i think they're more anxious because every day they count down the day to his funeral because i told them when it was and every day they count it down like they're marking it down i think they're just anxious to see him and get that experience and just see him in his coffin and all of that so i'm gonna let them be a part of that because at the end of the day this is a part of life this is a part death is a part of real life and as much as we want to shield them from it as parents we can't shield them from everything they need to experience and they need to go through it especially if they want to it is not for me to keep them from it because i feel like maybe it will be best for them because when they do experience it sometime in their lifetime it might be traumatic for them because they've never done it before so they want to be part of this and uncle vince has been a part of her life for a great number of years a part of their lives for their entire lives so i want them to get this final closure and experience and yeah that's basically but mentally, I've been having a lot of anxiety around this funeral and just everything. Seeing him again, I finally just make up, made up my mind that I'll probably um, go to the viewing. Because at first I told myself I wasn't going to go. I was just going to go to the funeral because it might be too much. But the viewing is a little more private. And at least if I have anything I want to say to him, I can say it there. And then the funeral, everybody's kind of going to be around to say their goodbyes and all that stuff. So yeah that's basically where it's been right now but and we also have a lot of videos and stuff and clips that i did before he had passed so it's a matter of trying to figure out where i can fit those in within everything that's happening without confusing everybody you know on the internet like hold up huh you know so it's like i don't know if i'm even gonna if it's even okay to upload those anymore or if i should just start everything from after the funeral or basically what and what we'll see it you know i'll make up my mind on that as the weeks and stuff approach but that's basically where everything is so here's little clips i guess basically after i had told you guys 
um, about his passing. This is like the next few days or yeah, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for the constant ongoing support. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the constant kind words and just the uplifting. It's, it's meant a lot. I see it all. I know I can't reply to it all, but I do see it and I appreciate it. So thank you guys. morning you guys it is the day after Uncle Vince passed away and I'm in his room because I gotta get his stuff together for his funeral they wanted to take it to the funeral home come in doggies I'm coming oh boy go everybody go 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 Go, it's okay. Come here, his way. it's okay. <laughs> this TV we got for him. We had gotten him a bigger size. He had a 40 before. And we had gotten him. I can't remember if this was the 50 inch or 55. I don't even remember. I'm convinced I'm gonna miss you. Come into this world alone and you leave alone, leave everything behind. Yeah, I gotta mop up this area. This is where they had his body. I just I only, I only got to pour some um thing on the floor, but I didn't actually get to mop it yet. Because when they um people who collect the body had come, they rolled him over and because he'd been on the floor for so many hours, all his bowels just kind of released when they rolled him over. So it was. <sighs> so he has a few nice suits here. I'm going to. He loved this one. This one was his like favorite. So I think I'm gonna. It's gonna probably be one of those. Like. When he got sick, he had asked me to donate pretty much like majority of his clothes because he's like, I'm sick, what am I going to use it for now? <sighs> Diapers for days, oh my goodness. <sighs> Last thing he did for me when he was down here, he folded the kids' laundry for us. Cause I was doing laundry and I took them out and folded them. I'm gonna miss you, Vincent. I think my husband's coming. He doesn't want to leave me alone. Bye. Everything down here smells like him. I got a call the pharmacy today to stop his prescriptions. We usually need these, um, these blister packs for him. Um, and I pick them up every Thursday. But now I need to tell them there's no need for it anymore. I'm literally just a lot of things. I'm just going to bag it and throw it in. Like his teacups and stuff like that. I don't want to keep any of that stuff. And potty buckets and stuff like that. Um, 
in wheelchairs, pretty much just anything, I'm just going to donate it all. I'm just going to pack up the van and just donate it when I come back from someone's appointment. We just gotta remember the good. That's what Vincent would want for us to remember the good. That's crazy. Those are the dogs. The two times I came down here to cry my eyes out, and every time I said, I hope you're happy, Vince. I hope you're in a better place. I hope you're at peace. And I looked up at his clock that he loves so much, and it was twin numbers 11 11. And then the second time was 202 a.m. And he has a twin, Uncle Vince has a twin, he has a twin sister. And I took that as a sign because of how I just looked up through the water in my eyes and I just seen those two numbers on two different, you know, two different times. And I'm just like, is this you, Vince? Is this you telling me that you're okay? And when I was driving yesterday to get the briefcase for his kids so they can see his life insurance and all that, and um, get his funeral stuff together. The atmosphere, the sky was so peaceful. It was so beautiful. I'm just like, is this you, Vince? Are you fine? Are you soaring amongst us? Are you dancing in the clouds? Like, is this you? Just gonna put it in my head that he's happy and he's in a better place and he wouldn't want for us to mourn him in the worst way, but to celebrate him in the best way and how he lived. The things he did for people, <laughs> this crazy sense of humor. I'm gonna miss that so much. Uncle Vince can make you laugh for days. He was a miserable guy, but his misery came with the craziest of humors. Like he was just so funny. I'm gonna miss him. But you know what? He's brought this family closer. I'm gonna miss you, Vince, so much. <sighs> Oh boy. Thank you guys for your constant support. You guys are amazing. Anyways, so let me bag these clothes and get them in the car. And, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure how involved his um, kids are going to allow me to be, but one thing i knew vince loved was cricket he loved this damn thing this is his cricket bat set he has the bat and he has the vest honestly if it was up to me i would bury him in his suit and his his vest because he loved this damn sport so much and i'm gonna bring this and see if they want to put it in his um coffin with him because he loved this thing he talked about cricket like look at all these scars and god he loved this thing when i met him he talked about oh god every weekend he was at some kind of cricket game playing and because he did hockey and he did all sorts of stuff and he loved this damn game this thing is this is so old this thing is so old look at these gloves oh my goodness rest easy uncle Vince. i'm gonna bring it and they can decide what they want to do but Truly, this would be a great way to honor him. We just got to his kid's house. We just I'm um, waiting for them to come and grab his stuff. And then I'm going to head to someone's appointment now. I feel so at peace. Maybe it's a sign that he's at peace. I feel I feel at peace though. I miss you, Vince. Figure out why your eyes are burning and hurting. Look. I'm, I'm not the doctor, I'm the assistant, so you're going to see the oh, doctor next oh, time. Okay. okay, I thought you were the doctor. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How was it? Good. Mm -hmm. uh, kitty. Uh, uh. What you didn't like? Uh, uh. Rubby, give her her mask. That's not very nice. Let go. 
<laughs> Not Roby Ferguson. <laughs> nope. Okay, you wanna wash? Okay. Okay, quick wash. All right. All right, great. Good job, let's, good job, go. All right, we're heading back now, and someone has to get a third eye drop in our eye, and then it should be good. One numb in, one that burns, and I'm not really sure what the third one's for. Come on, come on, it's almost someone's turn, Roby. Night, Roby! No. Being in the grocery store is especially hard because of all the things I would buy for him, like bananas, kiwis, like the things that he loved. Passing them, and like having hard patience right now. But I'm trying to help him get out of here. I'm here doing grocery for the house. Really I'm bringing Kiki some baby mom moms. I remember before Vincent had died, like a little few days, she's like, Mom, next time you go to the grocery store, can you just bring me a pack of those baby snacks? She loves them, the banana ones. Who remembers Dunkaroos? <laughs> so I'm gonna bring Kiki a few snacks, help cheer her up, and bring the other kitties some as well. Oh boy, I didn't get a card. I just ran back in after doing all that grocery to grab. I've been struggling to eat, so I'm gonna have my husband make me this dish I really like. Hopefully, I can eat it. Being home, everything reminds me of him. <laughs> and even though he's gone, you don't even get to grieve because your life still goes on. Babies are crying. I gotta draw my tears and get out there and do what I gotta do. I miss you, my dear friend. I miss you. I'm here breaking in the bathroom crying and once again I look up on my phone because I have the new iPhone um, 14 um, Ultra and I look up and I see 606 twin numbers again <laughs> I know he's telling me he's okay but I still miss him I still wish I could have done so much more for him My heart is so heavy. It's crazy you can really die from a broken heart. that I just couldn't. I couldn't, I've been trying to eat all day. I've bought just about everything I love to eat. My husband's bought me everything I love to eat and I just, I can't. It just, my stomach just won't. I'm just, it, right, right now I'm in that gut wrenching. Like it, my, it feels like I have butterflies and the denial like, is he really gone? Like, is he really, really gone? Is he truly gone and never coming back? I wish I could just jump in your arms and hug you right now. God, I wouldn't let go. I wouldn't let go. You saved me a plate, Vince. I know how much we love our bellies. You saved me a plate up there. I don't care how many years later it has to be covered, you saved me that plate. Because when I get there, I'm coming to sit right beside you. Thank you guys so much for all your constant support, it means so much. Thank you for those of you who donated to his um, GoFundMe, it means so much. I'm telling you every penny counts, even if somebody was to donate a dollar, I would be happy, <laughs> literally. Every penny counts, it adds up. You can do something. So thank you guys for those of you who donated. It means so much. And I hope we can do something amazing for his funeral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daddy did it. You wear glasses? 
<laughs> You're cleaning car with that dog? I, I need to get this to her. How did you get this, this one. on her? This the one. glasses. The way she flinched, flinched, she would never let me put that on her. I put it on her. <laughs> Remy. Hello. Uh. <laughs> can you put your password in, please? But can we keep playing? You would have to keep switching your screen. Over Did you even attempt to put your thing to charge? Uh, no. <laughs>